You've probably seen it before. A car punches a hole through the air, creating a low-pressure slipstream behind it. When a car follows closely, it faces less aerodynamic drag, which can lead to better fuel efficiency. But drafting isn't just for cars. When a boat moves through water, it creates a wake, a series of waves and pressure zones. And if you position your kayak just right, you can ride that wake and reduce drag. Less resistance means less effort. Today, we're testing hydrodynamic drafting, wake riding in real time. Let's see if water physics can give us a free ride. I started by paddling on the right side of the motorized canoe, matching my speed to its pace, and establishing a consistent paddle cadence. I don't have a cadence sensor, but I estimated it from the video clip. I completed 10 strokes in 10.6 seconds, which translates to approximately 56.8 strokes per minute. Then I began maneuvering my kayak to draft behind the canoe. I could feel the need to slow down. If I kept paddling at the same rate, I'd risk bumping into the motor. Here's what happened next. About two feet behind the boat, I felt a noticeable lift, almost like surfing the stern wave. It was subtle, but real. I had to concentrate to maintain that sweet spot in the wake. Not too close, not too far. From the footage, I clocked 10 strokes in 12.6 seconds, giving me a reduced cadence of about 47.5 strokes per minute. Now, I know this is a crude way to gather data, but the experiment showed I was using roughly 16% less energy when tailgating the motorized kayak. Today, I also found out the safest way to conserve my energy is to hitch a ride instead of paddling. It is especially true for a senior citizen like me. If you like my video, please give me a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.